Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about reflections. What is a reflection? A reflection is a transformation in which a figure is reflected in a line called the line of uh, reflection. A reflection recreates a mirror image of the original figure. Here's an example. Notice this line down the middle is the line of reflection. And if you notice, this is the exact same uh, object is this, only it's reflected in the line. How can you tell? Well, notice the long side of the trapezoid here is close to the line of reflection, so the long side of the trapezoid is close to the line of reflection. And also, the short side of the trapezoid is far away from the line of reflection, and that's why the short side of the trapezoid is also far away from the line of reflection. First thing we want to make sure you can do is just be able to see if something is a reflection or not. I've got three possibilities here for you. Which one is a line of reflection, or is there more than one? Notice, in this situation, this would not be a reflection, because notice, the point right here is closest to the line of reflection, but on the other side, the point is far away from the line of reflection. This would be a simple translation. If we look at number two, this is also not a reflection, because once again, we have the long side of the triangle far away from the line of reflection, but in this situation the long side of the triangle is close to the line of reflection. This once again is a translation. This would be a reflection. Once again the long side of the trapezoid is close to the line of reflection and thus the long side of the trapezoid is close to the line of reflection. Let's take this a little deeper. What if I have this point and I want to reflect it in the x-axis? So here's the point and here's where I'm going to be reflecting it. If you notice, I am three units away from the line of reflection. Therefore, just like a mirror, my image point would have to be three steps on the other side of the line of reflection. And I get my point. Do you notice the pattern with the points? The 2 stays the same. The x coordinate stays the same. But the y coordinate in this situation became the opposite. So what you'll notice is a reflection in the x-axis means that the x-coordinate stays the same, but the y-coordinate becomes the opposite of the, other, of the original point. What if I wanted to reflect this point in the y-axis? Once again, here's the point, here's my line of reflection. If you again notice, I am three steps away from the y-axis. Therefore, my image point would have to be three steps away on the other side of the y-axis. And I have my point. Do you notice the pattern in the points? Notice, in this situation, when we reflect on the y-axis, it's the x-coordinate that becomes the opposite. The x-coordinate went from 3 to negative 3. Feel free to go back and look at that again if you need to see the picture. So what do we want people to be able to do? Well, ultimately, we want them to be able to create a reflection of a shape. So we're going to reflect ABC in the y-axis. Notice the y-axis is the axis that goes up and down. So when I think about this, I think that point B is two steps away from the reflection, point A is two steps away from the reflection, and point C is four steps away from the reflection. So I can make my points. There's my image point for A, there's my image point for B, and there's my image point for C. When I connect these dots, you can notice that I have a nice reflection. Give you one more to take a look at. Try this one on your own. Feel free to pause at any time. Imagine what it's going to be. First of all, did you imagine that that's the line of reflection? Because that's the x-axis. That would be the image point for A, the image point for B, and the image point for C. The question people will have is, does the, image, uh, does the line of reflection always have to be the x or the y axis? No, it does not. Um, but that will be covered in some other chapters future down the line. All right, you guys have a great day. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Thanks.